How's it going everybody? Welcome to a brand new video. I get asked all the time about the cryptocurrencies that I'm most interested in and I constantly am forced to bring up Cardano regarding what they're doing, how they're reshaping the way that people consider what smart contracts are actually going to be doing in the real world, how they're going to be functioning and really playing a fundamental role in the shifting of the paradigm that really is the rise of cryptocurrency and the end of the way that people imagine and how the internet can actually function in the real world. Cardano is really one of those cryptos that's worth paying attention to for a multitude of reasons. The way that it responds in times when other cryptocurrencies are, I mean, there's a lot of variables that are essentially downfalls of some cryptos that get a lot more hype than Cardano, where Cardano can strategically really pack a punch. And I think that really Ethereum is in trouble as far as Cardano can really learn from the mistakes that have already been made and if you really want to understand Cardano you really have to understand Charles uh, you have to understand the founder of Cardano it's important to look into the team that's working on all these different technologies but essentially the direction that Cardano has been headed really does take into consideration the future of how the internet is going to completely overlay onto our current system and the internet of things a lot of these different shifting variables that most people aren't even paying attention to yet but as we are involved with cryptocurrency and paying attention to these things we have the opportunity of seeing these real future in the making um, projects like Cardano is certainly among them. It's important to pay attention to the cryptocurrencies that recover quickly, especially when we see the sort of situation which we were experiencing this past week where the market cap was falling pretty dramatically. I found it interesting to see how Car B performing fundamentally well and I think that this overall is a good indication of what we're going to be witnessing happening involving the rise of certain altcoins and essentially the decline of the paradigm that people have gotten used to involving cryptocurrency and this is including not limited to the situation involving regulations and of course the global community coming to really understand how these technologies are going to be playing a fundamental real life role in the way that various different things are going to be functioning. I was looking at the news regarding Cardano and it's interesting to see how Cardano has been positioning itself with various different partnerships and ultimately when you pay attention to the fact that we've seen essentially Bitcoin was the introduction of cryptocurrency. It was uh, digital gold and then we saw Ethereum coming up um, finally with its smart contracts and essentially we're in a new age of cryptocurrency now uh, where one where Cardano really is um, up next I believe that Cardano definitely does have a lot of potential as far as the decisions that they're making and as far as uh, the next few year time span of cryptocurrency and how these different data variables are coming together see my understanding of Cardano is fundamentally data driven I find that it's important to have a perspective on these things because really what we see when when there's a ton of red all the way across the board is there's going to be people panicking there's people who see the dip like this and then they are running around wondering what's going to happen next because their research is not driven by facts it's important for people who are in this space to essentially be gathering as much information as physically possible um, and really having your own understanding otherwise you're going to be panicking right along with the rest of them and essentially which is what we've been seeing happening right up until this point uh, when the altcoins are getting crushed people tend to run to bitcoin which increases bitcoin dominance and the cycle continues essentially the situation and the dynamics involving the current climate of crypto is really one that is marked by uh, the people not knowing what's next and it's a, there's a big panic side to it because it's not essentially as controlled as it's going to be in the future but this is all subject to change um, 
this volatility that we're seeing with cryptocurrency where things are all over the place it's not going to last forever we're going to see big changes in this space and which will also include the application of these different technologies being uh, seen alongside a lot of other uh, you know technologies in the spaces that are up next for uh, real critical change and this is going to involve a whole legacy of cryptocurrencies that are going to rise up and meet the challenge we are currently seeing the spaces like uh, Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and all these old technology giants are coming to a swift and steady decline um, because they're essentially not running their platforms the way that they should be. They're manipulating the algorithms and the functionality and people being censored is really uh, something to be desired and it's uh, essentially opening up a huge vacuum for technologies like Tron for example or Steam. You name it, these different cryptocurrencies that have the capability to act Actually compete with these companies that have already essentially established themselves in the public consciousness and their household names really people use them in everyday usage so when we think about something like Cardano and how much of a future it has in front of it uh, essentially it's important to look at the timeline for these technologies and seeing where they're essentially going I mean I like to look at the team that's working behind these technologies as well and Cardano certainly does have a strong image of what the future is going to hold I would say 2019 2020 these are going to be years marked by uh, very critical and dramatic uh, cryptocurrency rise and alongside that we will witness the continued decline of technologies like Facebook and Twitter I don't know about you guys, but I find Cardano fascinating. The way that Cardano has managed to market itself up until this point strategically, I believe that Cardano will be a essential leader in the cryptocurrency space as we really see when the chips are down, what are the first technologies to rise up uh, when we see these declines. And essentially the way that Cardano has been leading the pushback uh, has been very interesting and uh, confidence building as far as um, what's in store for Cardano. Cardano Lambo. I know that's kind of a bad joke, but I find it funny. And especially Global Coin Report giving this sort of attention to Cardano, Neo, EOS. Uh, you know, talking about a bull run, I mean, that's a pretty strong claim coming from a pretty well recognized news source like Global Coin Report. Now, of course, this is all tongue in cheek, uh, but at the same time, time uh, exactly I'm being completely serious I mean I always take the news articles with a grain of salt but uh, when it comes to looking at the way that things are uh, I mean I'm looking at all sources of information I mean I'm listening to multiple different um, people just because uh, I'm trying to make sense of it all and at the end of the day uh, all you can really do is uh, try to look for the most up-to-date information and that's exactly what I've been doing and um, you now I was watching this video by um, you know Dusty BC earlier and um, you know this is one of my favorite uh, cryptocurrency youtubers I've been a long time subscribed to this channel and I'll actually be including a link to uh, this video down in the description below so if you guys are um, you know in interested in checking out this uh, content you can easily connect to it but uh, he talks about a lot of similar things that we've discussed in this video already and you know in particular it is interesting to see how um, the news media has been responding um, especially I mean it's it's uh, one thing when we're in a bull market and we see things always moving up and up but when we're in uh, the sort of uh, bear trap that we're in right now and we've been sort of stuck in for um, quite some time now um, it is something to be said when we see this sort of praise being handed over to Cardano, it makes you wonder what's happening behind the scenes. And these old, old things that essentially only people's grandparents are using Facebook at this point and Twitter is losing value and essentially it's creating a huge bubble but this is happening in a large, larger scale than just limited to simple tech spaces. It's happening involving currency in and of itself and essentially the way that Cardano has been positioning itself is really strategic as far as where we could be seeing it and also we were seeing Cardano's name right alongside Google. Um, in a lot of different news things that we were witnessing and they've been meeting and having conversations because I think that this shift in the paradigm is um, pretty 
self-explanatory from the perspective of Google, who's pretty much trying to evaluate what their next move is going to be. So essentially, I mean, I know not anybody really is going to Dunkin' Donuts and buying a coffee using a Litecoin, but it's all in due time. And essentially, it's interesting to see how these this space has been developing um, and coming into its own in such a short amount of time. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This video is not financial advice. It's for entertainment, educational purposes only. Um, however, it is interesting to see how uh, there's been a critical uh, moves that have been happening really um, in the foundational levels of this community. And it's interesting to see the conversation as it's been um, you know, developing up until this point. So I mean, just some food for thought and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this content. Um, please make sure that you guys connect with us on our Twitter. Um, and of course, you can connect with us on Snapchat and all that. And um, yeah, all that being said, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.